President Biden has landed in Kentucky, where he will tour the devastation there following those deadly tornadoes. The number of people unaccounted for is now over 120. But as the dust settles, we're seeing acts of good faith and goodwill between strangers. ABC's Ike Ajanchi is in Mayfield, Kentucky for us. Hi, Ike. Terry, this community here, they are still reeling. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says his state now is in a rescue and recovery mission. 74 Kentuckians have lost their lives, with 88 people dead across five states. 122 Kentuckians are still unaccounted for, and 1,800 families have already filed for FEMA disaster assistance. Now, the state cleanup crews, they've been here all morning in the past couple of days, clearing the roads, doing whatever they can, but in terms of power, 24,000 people are still reporting having no power whatsoever. But listen, there's still a silver lining. If you walk through these streets, you'll see cars coming in from every single direction, packed with volunteers ready to do whatever they can, from cleaning the streets themselves to offering food to whoever needs a meal. Now, I met one particular individual. His name is Jeff. He's traveled hundreds of miles here just to see if he can help out. Why? Because he knows a situation like this all too much. You see, Jeff, he's from Joplin, Missouri, and over 10 years ago, he too was in a similar situation. That's when that EF5 tornado ripped through his town and claimed the lives of 161 individuals altogether. Now, he was almost an individual that lost his own life, but he managed to make it out safely along with his wife. After coming out of the rubble from his home, he realized that as soon as that storm passed off, hundreds of volunteers started coming into his own city from all over the country. They were doing everything from handing out food, similar to the things you see here. Now, when he went online and he saw the images here in Mayfield, he looked at his wife and he felt like he needed to do something. So he closed down his restaurant, packed up his food truck, and said he was gonna make his way here, make his way here to feed as many people as he can. Now, before he left, he made a post on social media telling his community what he was going to do, and that's when that generosity from those Joplin residents started to come in. Everybody started giving him everything to come here to Mayfield, whether it's money, gift card, clothes, food, anything to feed the people here. Even one special person who decided to give him a very special gift. Take a listen. There was a little girl that came into our store yesterday and her parents had bought her a brand new care, pair of Converse shoes. And she said instead of her keeping them, she was going to donate them to some family up here that needed them. They volunteered, they stayed there for months, and I just kind of felt like this is Joplin's time to pay that back. And Joplin stepped up. How about that, huh? Now, President Biden, he's going to survey the damage himself and speak to Kentuckians to hopefully give them some words of encouragement. Terry? Hi, Kijanchi. Thank you very much for those stories of goodwill and, and good deeds in a tough time. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.